everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is finally going to be an empties video because my trash can obviously can't take it anymore. I have not done an empties in quite some time. So today I'm going to be taking you through all of the products that I used up or decided to get rid of from my collection and that sort of thing. So if you are ready for a new empties video, why don't we go ahead and jump into it. Like I said, it has been a while. My trash can is so full that I actually was like placing items next to the trash can and that's when I was like girlfriend you just need to do an empties video like what are you doing I think the last time I did an empties one it was a live chat and I actually asked on Twitter if you'd want to see another live chat doing an empties video but the majority of people said no I know a lot of people have been asking if I'm going to do live chats again but the feedback that I get when I ask about live chats is that it seems like people don't really want to see them they would rather see regular video content so that's what I'm doing because I I know I asked about it on my snapchat as well about possibly taking away live chats to do extra content so I can do collabs with more creators and things like that and most everybody said like very much majority wise said no to the live chats so just thought I'd throw it out there because I know I get comments sometimes about if I'm doing live chats again but I don't have anything planned as of right now but anyways jumping into it okay so a couple items on top here I see actually from my skincare project pan video the Pacifica Sea Foam Complete Face Wash I know was in there. The First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Hydro Firm Sleeping Cream was in that project pan. Um, I see some other ones. I'm that weird like YouTuber that even if I share something that is emptied in a video or decluttered I still put it in my empties trash bin so then I can share about it again. Is that just like a YouTuber? My what is that? What is that? Um, the Botanics Hydrating Day Cream. This was one, I really did like the first two items I talked about. This is one I wouldn't repurchase. I ended up not enjoying that one very much and I didn't get all of the way done because I was just like, oh no, I don't really like this anymore. The Caudalie Eye Cream. I wouldn't repurchase this one. That was a deluxe size sample. I wouldn't get that again. It just, I have other eye creams I like better. I know this one was in there as well. The Garnier Skin Active Ultra Lift Miracle Wake Up Cream. I do like this one a lot. If you want a good uh, drugstore like hydrating moisturizer, this one is actually really good. I do enjoy that one. The Fresh Soy Face Cleanser was in the Project Pan and I really like this one as well. I already have another deluxe size sample in my skincare collection. The number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced Intense Serum. Number seven has some of my favorite serums. I already have this one in my collection as well. And then the Kate Somerville Exfoliate. This is a very intense exfoliator. I can only use it once a week, if that, because it is so intense, but I do really like it and I do think it works and I do have another one in my collection. So those were a few of the items from my Project Pan that I see on top here. I also see, these are from CVS. It is the um, makeup remover pads. So fun story about these. I used to use the Alme makeup remover pads and they are like in the exact same packaging. They even have the purple on them. So that's CVS and I went to grab the Alme ones and I don't know what happened or how I managed to grab the CVS ones because I could have sworn I was in the Alme section, not the CVS beauty section, but I somehow grabbed the CVS ones and they were terrible. I pretty much only use, like I wouldn't even use them for actually removing my makeup. I would use them for like if I wanted to clean up a wing or swatches or terrible at actually removing makeup. I was so mad when I realized my mistake and that I didn't purchase the all my ones. Oh, uh, next up I have the Skin Fix Face Cleansing Cloth. I've gone through a couple of these. I know I got a package from a Skin Fix and I actually, I really do like these. The cloth was a good size and it really took everything off. I don't use cleansing cloths a ton because I prefer like a balm um, or an oil to take off my makeup, but these, these are pretty good. I know I've gone through a couple of them. Uh, let's see, I have in here the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. This was a 100 point perk, so it was just a little guy of it, but I loved this so much. I was like scraping my fingernail in there like, do I have any more left? This is really, really nice, but I know the full size is more expensive. I would totally get a 100 point perk again, because eye creams can last you a while. You don't need a ton of product, but this one was really nice. I really liked it. I would really like it back in my collection. Ah! And let's see, I got a sample here. This is from IGK. It's the coconut oil gel for your hair. Honestly, I used it a couple times and I thought it really just like weighed down my hair and made it like, I have really thin hair and very fine hair. And sometimes I talk about how I don't use a ton of products in my hair because with some products, I feel like when I use them, my hair is just like even limper than normal and it just like hangs 
Ugh. I'm like 90% dry shampoo today, don't mind that. But yeah, this one I just, I didn't really like. I didn't see it doing anything besides making my hair look kind of weird. So, so that one was kind of a no-go for me. Uh, next up I have this one from... Rodale or Rodile skincare. It's the stem cell cleansing cream. I got this in an ipsy bag and I actually really liked it. I felt like I could like feel something on my skin when I was using it. It was kind of like a thicker um, cleanser and I just I really enjoyed it but I am not sure where you can buy this. Now I kind of want to look it up if I can find it. I like to link everything sometimes with MD's videos. It's really challenging because it's a lot, but I do like to link everything. But I'm going to try to find this and see where you purchased this at because I remember I ended up really enjoying that one. Um, one item that I did not enjoy was this Bosha Luminizing Black Mask. It's a peel-off mask. This was so painful. I tried it two times and the second time I tried it, it took me a long time after the first time to try it because I was like, that hurt so bad. I don't want to peel this off, but I was like, no, because I remember talking about it on Snapchat and people were like, you have to apply a really, really thick layer. Like, don't apply it too thin or something like that. Maybe it was even vice versa. Now I don't remember. Maybe they said it was too thick and I need to apply it thinner. I don't remember. But I did the opposite of what I did the first time and I was like, no, Still painful and I'm not using this again. So I only used it twice, but I did not enjoy that at all. By I don't know, I, maybe my skin is just too sensitive for a mask like that, but that did not work out for me. Um, also in here, I have the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. This is another face mask and it's supposed to be good for hydrating, of course. I still have a little bit left inside, but honestly, I didn't feel like this did anything for me. Glam Glow is super expensive and this is a um, sample guy of this one. I don't even know. Maybe it was a 100 point break. I feel like I had it for a really long time and I was just like, I don't know if it's doing anything. So I kind of just stopped using it and when I saw it in my skincare drawer the other night, I was like, just throw that away like you don't use it there's other masks that I like a lot more and that are especially cheaper because I think like a full size of this is like $69 or something and I don't think that's worth it uh let's see I have this from it cosmetics it's the confidence in an eye cream it's just a little sample guy and I don't know I felt like it was okay but with the sample I used it all up but I was like I can't really tell from this small of a sample if it actually did anything so sometimes with samples you can tell but sometimes if you only get a couple uses it's like I don't know what that just did, if anything. Uh, let's see, I have a lip balm in here. This is from Maybelline. It's the Maybelline Baby Lips. Ooh, this is a this this is an old guy. I think I took this out. I always like to have a lip balm in my like bathroom at like sink in the drawer before I go to sleep if I have really dry lips. I hate going to bed with dry lips. So this was my lip balm up there for a while and it is all gone. I did like the baby lips for quite some time. I had like every single color or shade or whatever you would call it. This one is crystal, but I don't think I would repurchase these anymore. I have other lip glosses or lip balms that I like a lot better. So that's kind of a blast from the past. Um, also in here I have the Flower Beauty. This is the Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. I just decluttered this one because it broke and shattered and the bronzer shattered and it kind of got the highlight all icky and the blush is all icky and I'm just going to go ahead and repurchase another one. I was really bummed when Flower Beauty came to Ulta and this was not on the Ulta website. I was like, this was the one thing. This and the sponge. And neither of them are on the Ulta website. I'm like, dang it. Those are the two things that I want the most. I'm still holding out hope that it's going to come back because I do want to repurchase that one real bad. Uh, let's see. I have the Ula Hendrickson Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub. This came in a set of three minis, and this was the first one I used. I fell in love with it. I already repurchased a full size. It was mentioned in my last makeup haul. I love this one. I feel like I've talked about it a lot. I've put it in favorites videos. I've repurchased it already. Loved that one. Uh, I have another mask here from Glam Glow. This is the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. Again, I just don't feel like it did anything, and I feel like I only got like three uses out of this guy and I didn't notice anything. I don't know. Do you guys love Glam Glow? Like, do you swear by them? For me, I've tried a couple different ones, and I just couldn't get into the hype of them. I have my first sheet mask here. I usually have quite a few sheet masks. This is from Patchology. This is the Milk Peel 5-Minute Flash Mask. Uh, Patchology has some of my favorite masks, and I really do like this Milk Peel because it's more of an exfoliating mask, but it's good for sensitive skin, which I do have, so I enjoy using this one when I want some... Uh, deep exfoliation and it's only five minutes which i think is great my skin doesn't look too red or irritated after i use them which i really enjoy that 
I also did declutter my Pure uh, 4 in 1 Pressed Mineral Makeup because I've had this one open for a while. I've hit pan on it. It's It's been with me for quite some time and I actually already do have another backup in there. So I think this was when I did like my face powder declutter. I decluttered this older one since I already do have another one in my collection, but this is one of my favorites. Like, holy grail, ride or die. I've been purchasing this for like over 10 years, so I love that powder. What can I say? Uh, let's see. I have this should not be in here. This must have fallen into my trash can off my desk. This is KL Polish Aquarius. You nope. You are not being, you're not being thrown away. I'm put that right back on my desk. Okay, next up, I have from Dr. Brandt. This is the Oxygen Facial Flash Recovery Mask. This was one. I'm pretty sure this got sent to me from Octoly, like one of my like first ever products that got sent to me after I got accepted into Octoly. And at first, I was like, yeah, this is super cool. And then I was like, hmm. I don't know and then there's still a lot of product left but I can't pump like the pump just stopped working eventually and I was like yeah you know what I don't think I'm really all that into this and it's like a really expensive mask off the top of my head I want to say it's something like $80 I can't I, I don't know I could be making that up but I know it's an expensive mask it didn't last very long and I just thought it was okay I would not repurchase that one though I wasn't uh, all that impressed alrighty so I have some concealers in here Assuming this is from my concealer declutter. I have the NYX Sculpt and Highlight Duo. This was a favorite at one point, and then I realized I don't think I love it as much as I thought I did. You don't get a lot of product on either side, so I actually ended up going through it really, really quickly, which was kind of a bummer. Um, I liked the contour side more than the concealer side. I didn't feel like the concealer side actually concealed really but I did like the more of the contour side this is the Maybelline fit me concealer I want to repurchase this one of my favorite concealers I've been buying the fit me concealer for years and I love it and then this one is the Maybelline better skin concealer I know I feel like it looks like I could be scraping it along the sides and trust me like I was trying and I just can't get any more product out of it but I also really do like this concealer I still think I like the yeah, I like the Fit Me better. So if I was going to repurchase, I would repurchase the Fit Me. Um, this is the Rimmel uh, Stay Matte Translucent Powder. I broke the cap to it. And honestly, I've had this guy for years. I was saying in my declutter video that I am so shocked. Like, I can tell there's a dent in it. But there should, like, I should have hit pan on this guy. It's crazy to me that I haven't. But um, I've had it for so long. It doesn't have a cap anymore. I decided to go ahead and declutter it, but I do want to repurchase it and it's super inexpensive. So Our sheet mask in here. This is from SNP. This is the animal otter sheet mask for uh, an aqua moisture mask and I've been needing all the moisture I can this winter. So it doesn't shock me that I see the otter mask there. Uh, this one is from Clean and Clear. It's the Deep Action Cream Cleanser. I've had this guy for so long and I finally used it up. It was one of my favorites in college. Like I think I repurchased this in college, but I was saying in my skincare project pan that I feel like as I've gotten older, like my skincare has just gotten a little bit more, like my skincare has definitely changed from what I needed it to do in college from what I needed to do now that I'm 30. So I wouldn't repurchase that one, but I did enjoy it in college. So in here I have from Estee Lauder, this is the Brow Multitasker. I think I mentioned this in a makeup monthly and I put it in the fail section and I was like, I'm just going to declutter it because... I don't like it and I'm not going to continue to use it. It has the pencil on one end and a spoolie on the other and I liked it because in the center you could pull it apart and it had a brow powder and I liked the powder but the actual pencil I didn't love and I thought it was super waxy and very hard to apply. It's in the shade blonde which I have blonde in some pencils but this one was way too light on me and just overall I did not love it so I would not repurchase that guy. I have another mask in here. This is from Nug Beauty. I've been trying out their masks recently and I really do like them. And this one is probably my favorite. This one is to intensely hydrate and replenish dry dehydrated skin. So of course this is what I'm loving as I'm super dry, as I'm staring outside watching it snow. <laughs> Again, we already have six inches and it's still snowing, so it's fantastic. Uh, also in here from Pixie and in collaboration with Carolyn Harans, this is the double cleanse that you get a solid cleansing oil on one side, which I love to remove my makeup, and then also a cleansing cream on the other. I love this guy and Pixie did send me another one of these and I was so excited because I knew I was getting down there on this one. So it's already back in my collection. I really, really like this. I love the dual action. It's just so easy. When I go to for my skincare routine, I don't have to be like, I'm going to use this and then that. Like, I pull this out and boom, there we go. So I really do like that guy. Uh, let's see, I have some facial wipes. These are from 
Pacifica. They're the Berry Happy Cleansing Wipes. I liked these, but they did have a very strong scent to them, which I don't necessarily like putting, especially around my eyes. I do have more sensitive eyes, so I didn't love how much of a fragrance these ones had. I mostly just ended up using them for swatches. Um, I just don't like anything with too much of a fragrance to go around my eye area. Um, these are from e.l.f. They're the Active Post-Workout Cleansing Body Wipes. Again, I mostly just use these for swatches and stuff. I know it says that you can use them all over your body. I don't necessarily need that. I do work out. I do work out every day. I do work out at my home, so I'm not like in a gym or anything like that, but still, it's not, it's not necessary for me to do that. If I need to cleanse, I'm just going to do a body shower, and that's it. But I used them for swatches, and they were fine for that. Um, these are my favorite Makeup remover wipes is still, these are from Neutrogena, the cleansing towelettes. Um, these are what I use most frequently for my actual face. I go traveling with these guys, so I will definitely want to repurchase them. I think I just mentioned them in my, if I had a $200 gift card type of video, and I mentioned them on the affordable side because I really do like them. I have another sheet mask here. This is, oh, this is one of my favorites. I think I only have like two left of these and I'm doing that thing where like, I'm hoarding them. Like I don't want to use them on just like a random occasion. I want to really know like this is the mask that I want to reach for because I just need to, I just need to make a purchase. I just need to make a purchase, Samantha. This is from Patchology. It's the Smart Mud No Mess Mud Mask. I love mud masks. They're some of my favorite to use but I never enjoy how messy they are so I love having that in a sheet mask and I feel like it makes my skin so freaking nice. Um, I do have a code with Patchology. It's always in my description box if you purchase off the Patchology site for a discount or you can also get them at Ulta. But in here, I decided to declutter the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I used it a handful of times. I mean, I'm gonna say probably like six or seven times and it just really didn't do anything for me. And mascara isn't something that usually revs my engine anyways because I always wear false lashes or majority wise I wear false lashes. So when this just wasn't really doing anything for length or volume, I was like, mm, I don't really need to keep it around in my collection. So I decided to declutter that one. Another mascara I have in here is from Julep. This is the With a Twist Lash Boosting Bam Bamboo Mascara. This is a really nice mascara. I used it all the way up. It has a cool wand. Um, uh, Flower Beauty has one similar to this where you kind of twist it and it can get, it's supposed to do different things for like length, volume, curl, and things like that. So you can do that with the wand. I really do like this guy. Actually, I don't think I would repurchase it because it, I would rather purchase the Flower Beauty, which I think is cheaper. Um, but this was a good one from Julep. So next up, this was from my project pan as well. This is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst a Facial Cleanser. Again, this was one that I repurchased many times in college and like right post-college, but for now, it wouldn't be something that I would repurchase, but I did use it up in my project pan. I have two primers here. I recently added some new primers that I really enjoyed to my collection, and where I store my primers is getting a little bit out of hand, so I decided to let go of these two because they are fairly older in my collection. This one is really, really old. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer. This is one of like my original face primers and I really did like it. It's almost like a, it's like a putty is how I describe it. And I thought that it filled in my pores really, really well, but I have other primers now that I don't think I would repurchase this one. And honestly, I don't even know if it's available currently because it's quite a bit older. And this one is from Maybelline. This is their Master Prime Blur and Illuminate Primer. I did like this one, but again, I wouldn't repurchase it. I thought it did more illuminating than it did blurring and I would like more blurring versus illuminating. So I wouldn't repurchase that one, but I decided to get rid of those two so I could store some primers that I enjoy even more. Um, also that appears to have fallen in my trash can is post-it notes. So I'm gonna put those back on my desk. I don't wanna get rid of my post-it notes. Um, this one, I know I decluttered. This is the Too Faced at Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I decluttered it in my bronzer um, declutter because this one is really old and I already have a backup of it. I do really like this bronzer and I like it in my collection, but if that one was older, it could be tossed. I also have the Sigma Gel Liner, the Wicked Gel Liner. I was kind of rearranging my bookshelf the other night where I have some of my uh, like gel liner pots and I saw this one and I was like, girlfriend, just get rid of this one because I feel like I've brought it up in past videos because I do like this one. When I wore gel liner a ton, this was like my go-to, but I feel like every time I mention it, I'm like, I just need to declutter it. It's so old. It's mostly dried out. It's almost gone. I can see the bottom. Like I've hit pan on this one. And then I put it back in my collection. I'm like, just declutter it. I do not really wear gel liners anymore. Like I said, they used to be my staple go-to what I did for liners, but I really don't. So even though I like this one, I would recommend it if you like gel liners, but for me, I wouldn't repurchase it right now because I just don't reach for those enough anymore. 
Uh, also in here, I have the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I just need to pass this on to somebody. I don't know, I don't need to throw this away because I feel like there's, yeah, there's a good amount here. I gave it a bunch of different shots, but I know I reviewed this in maybe like a follow-up video or something, or maybe it was a makeup monthly. I don't remember, but this just makes my skin too dewy. <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing because I'm really dry. And when I started using it, it was before we got, like before my skin got super dry. And I actually held on to it because I was like, I bet I'm going to get really dry in the winter. I'm going to pull this out and it's going to make me feel better. But it almost just makes me look too... It, oh, I don't know if I want to use the word greasy or what I want to use, but it's just not my favorite. But I, I gave it plenty of shots, but I feel like there's still a decent amount of, of um, product in here. So I'm just going gonna, gonna to hold that on for a friend because I feel like someone could still get some good use out of it. It just wasn't for me. Uh, a blush that I'm sure I probably decluttered is from Colourpop. This is Quarters. It's one of their Super Shock Cheeks. This is like one of my original purchases from Colourpop, like one of my very first orders. It's very, very old and I barely reach for the Colourpop blushes anymore because they're really similar to the Super Shock eyeshadows. I just feel like they're kind of hard to apply and just not my favorite. I much prefer just a plain powder blush. Uh, also in here I have, this is a sample of the um, Chanel Sol de Tan bronzer cream bronzer thing you know what I'm saying I have a lot in here left this was a little sample from when So Schwa was still around and you could get samples of high-end makeup and kind of like a subscription box I still have so much left in here I can see where I kind of like started putting my finger in it and I can see like brush strokes in it but it just kind of wasn't it wasn't really my jam and I've had this for a very very long time so I I wanted to get rid of it but it just wasn't my fave and I even put it out for a while like remember to use it remember to keep trying this and I'm like I just didn't really like it and it's really expensive like a full size I don't even know how expensive it is but it's expensive but it didn't really do anything for me um a mascara in here is the pure fully charged mascara I do like this mascara but the pure oh there's another mascara from pure that I really like I'm looking at my mascaras but the mascaras are behind my eyeliners it's in a pink tube can't remember what it's called right now but that's my favorite pure mascara so I wouldn't repurchase this one because I would repurchase the other big lash big look big lash or big look or something like that I think is the pure one that I really like so I would rather repurchase that one but that is a pretty good mascara it does good things for uh, length for your lashes uh, this is from soap and glory it's the mighty contour I used this in a first impression video and I came back and said it really is not very good. You get like a cream contour and a cream highlight and a cream blush and I just didn't really think they did much. They weren't super pigmented but they also faded really really fast on the skin so I just went ahead and decluttered that one. Uh, I also declared the NYX matte bronzer mostly because this is like one of my OG bronzers. It's super old. It's been very loved on um, and even though it was one of like my favorite bronzers for a while I realized that it's too orange on me. Like now nah. when I went to use it like when I was trying to decide if I should declutter this one or not and I went to use it one day I was like not your finest choice of bronzer, Samantha. <laughs> like, that does not look good on you. Uh, lessons learned. Another sheet mask in here is from Patchology. It's the Flash Mask 5 Minute Facial Mask for Illumination. I do like this one, but um, the Hydrate one, the one in the blue, I prefer that one over the Illuminate. I just like to hydrate versus illuminate. You know what I'm saying? Um, but that one's pretty good, but not my favorite Patchology one. I have a pair of lashes in here. These are from Pure. Which lashes are these? Oh, these are Pure Bombshell Lashes. I've already repurchased these. Pure Lashes are my favorite. We all know it. I've gone on to repurchase Bombshell several times, but that pair we needed to call it quits on. The other ColourPop blush I have in here is Between the Sheets. Again, same thing. It's just really, really old and not my favorite kind of blush, so I went ahead and got rid of that one. And then another blush is from Milani. This is a Dulce Pink. This is my first Milani blush in here. When I was decluttering my blushes, I decided to get rid of this one and keep Luminoso because Luminoso... I prefer over this one and I just don't reach for this kind of like bright pink shimmery blush as much. Uh, another sheet mask in here is from, oh I'm not sure how to say Anis, Anis Free? I'm not sure how to say the um, brand but it's the Real Squeeze a Cucumber Mask. I have a couple more of these that I would need to try out but I believe this is a K-Beauty mask. Um, I don't really have a ton to say because I've just used the one but I do have some other ones that I can be trying out. And then I have two different liners in here. Are these from NARS? Yeah, these are the NARS Velvet Eyeliners. I did not really enjoy these. I reviewed the NARS like holiday collection when it came out and I said like probably what I was least impressed with were these eyeliners. I just don't feel like they did anything and decided to declutter these when I was looking at my 
expanding eyeliner collection one day. Um, then I have some more facial wipes in here. These are from Garnier. They are the Skin Active Micellar Makeup Removing Towelettes. I actually really do like these. I ended up really enjoying them. I would probably repurchase these actually. I really did like them. I like them more than the Micellar Water, to be honest. I'd probably repurchase these actually. I almost kind of forgot about these. I really do like them and I know I brought them once when we were like traveling a bunch for my friend's wedding and like bachelorette party and things like that and I was letting the other girls use them. I know one of my friends went out and bought them because she liked them so much because <laughs> I was letting her use them at the hotel. So I do like those. Um, I decided to, <laughs> I decided to declutter my sample of my Fenty Beauty foundation, the like pro filter foundation. I got a sample of it, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. I decided to get a sample of it uh, when it came out and I got the shade 210 and this just did not work well for my skin. Um, it didn't sit well on my skin. It's more full coverage which isn't my favorite. I didn't think my shade match was perfect. It just didn't really do much for me. Again, it's just a little sample guy but I, I got my I got my sample worth. I was able to see if it would work for me and unfortunately it didn't. Um, I'm hoping Fendi comes out with like a luminous foundation or something because that's kind of more my style and I would totally try that but I had a feeling I wouldn't get on with the foundation just because of the reviews and like what the claims are that's not what I lean towards in a foundation but hey I still wanted to give it a try and I did but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of my sample um, I have in here from Cinema Secrets this is the makeup brush cleaner so this is a little jar and what I typically do is I repurchase the bigger size this is for cleaning your brushes but it's a quick dry so you just kind of spray some on the brush and then you rub it on a paper towel and it'll take the pigment off the brush but your brush will still be dry it's not for like deep cleaning your brushes or getting bacteria off or anything like that and what I do is I purchase the bigger jugs of it and then I actually pour it into here because I can take this traveling and it's just a spray bottle but I've had this for so long the spray no longer works on it so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and repurchase the spray size again and then when I run out of it I have my refill ready so I can just put it in here but yeah I'm really bummed that the spray doesn't work but this stuff is just awesome I mean we can't deep clean our brushes every single day so this is really handy to have so have the benefit precisely my brow pencil I had already repurchased this one so I have one in my collection I use either the shades two or three I kind of go back and forth but I love the precisely my brow it's so good if my brows look crazy today by the way it's because I ran out of my brow pencil in the middle of doing my brows I was like oh. <laughs> what does one do when that happens? And I was going to take another brow pencil and like try to make it work. And then I was like, I'm probably going to screw it up and the colors are going to look weird and something's going to look wrong. And you know, someone has to tell me about my brows in every single video anyway. If you notice my brows are crazy, that's what happened. I've, I don't know if I've ever had that happen before, but the precisely my brow pencil is definitely one of my favorites. And like I said, I already did repurchase this one. We're getting to the bottom. So this was a while ago. <laughs> um, and then we have the very last thing I see in here is another pair of lashes. And I don't even know I don't even know what these lashes are. I bet they are Ardell. I bet they are Ardell like faux mink lashes. I tried them. Ardell did send me a little package and I tried the faux mink lashes and I did not like them at all. Ardell lashes are just not my favorite anymore, which is super sad, but I remember these did not look so good on me. I tried them a couple times and then I was like, just, just, just no, just, just go with the lashes that you know that you love. But after that, that is finally going to do it for everything in my little trash can, all of my beauty empties. All right, guys, so that's going to be everything for my new beauty empties. I will try to be doing these more. Like I said, I feel like the last one I did was probably like three months ago, and I know I can do them on a more consistent basis. If you guys do like to see these on a more regular basis, do let me know, or if you only need to see them like two or three times a year, you know, let me know in the comments and what you think. But those were all of my recent beauty empties. I hope that you enjoyed seeing that and some of my thoughts on these products and if I would repurchase them or if they did not work out for me. And as always, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. I hope that you will also consider subscribing before you go and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.